going on guys? T-Mart here. How are you all doing on this fine Tuesday afternoon? I hope you all are doing well. But um, anyway, today we've got Black Ops 101 episode 26 and we're going to be taking a look at some of the nade spots on the map Havana. So I think you guys are going to find these pretty useful. So let's get started. All right, so starting off here, we're going to be taking a look at some of the pre-nade spots you can use for a bunch of different game modes. Uh, this is one of my favorite ones right here. You just run through bar and you throw the nade over towards fountain because everyone runs fountain off the start of the spawn. They either run yellow or they run fountain, so you can take out half the team with this grenade. Now, this next one here is pretty much the same thing. You just throw it from a different spot. You want to line it up on the left side of that red building there and uh, just kind of let it fly. It should go in next to the fountain just like the other one, and uh, you can throw either of these they both work really well it just depends on which way you want to run off the start of the spawn all right moving on now we're going to take a look at how you can throw a nade over kind of by white wall i don't know what else to call it but uh, some guys like to run through here especially in domination if these guys want to run towards b dom a lot of guys will run into this little alleyway here and uh, although this nade will get them this one's not as popular i would recommend one of the first two more now starting on the other side of the map, this nade is pretty much the same thing, just reversed. This one, you run into that white wall area and you can throw the nade to hit bar alley for everyone that's running into yellow. So this is a very, very, very useful one. And then also, there's another way you can throw it pretty much like the other side. Just come in here, throw it on the left side of the hotel, the yellow building, and uh, it should just go right on back in that alley. And uh, it's just a quad waiting for you guys, so make sure you check these out. Make sure you use these when you play next, and let me know how it goes. Post a video response if you want. Moving on, we have one other pre-nade on this side, and this one is just to nade the middle of the street, because sometimes people at the C-spawn like to run across the street, they like to run to beat on, they like to run over to the red building, you know, whatever it may be, this is just going to hit the middle of the street, and if you can get it off quick enough, you should get yourself a couple kills. These next couple nades are a little bit more specific for domination and to protect the B domination spot. So if you spawn in the back of A, it seems like you have no chance to protect it. But wait, you do. If you line up this nade on the right side of this building, just throw it up in the air. It'll land on A every time. Even if you go long, it's going to bounce off that Castro wall. And then this one is for if you spawn back C, just hop up on top of the fountain, jump and throw. And again, it's just going to go right over those buildings and land prettily right on top of the B dom. Is prettily a word? I hope it is. I don't know. But uh, anyway, moving on, this next one is for if you plant the A-bomb site and then the enemy team kills you and they're going to start defusing, you're going to spawn at back C and all you have to do is run up next to the bus and just throw this nade right over the building right next to that star there because you're a star. You guys are stars. But uh, it'll land right on top of the bomb and kill them every single time. So uh, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you all learned something. Hope you guys can put these nades in action. And um, yeah, so if you want to check out one of the two videos on screen, feel free to do so. I will catch you all later. See you guys.